Hello there and welcome to the next TACT update as I can give it out at the moment. And cheers definitely out there to our TACT gaming family. Coming off of 2016, heading into 2017, it's been a pretty rough year so far because we've had a lot of losses so far stacked against us. But as we continue to delve further into becoming a formidable fighting force as we do in what we do, we will turn the tables back and win another good game coming into this year. Sooner or later. While I've been away, I do hope that the majority of you guys were able to get in what practice that you could. Or uh, if you weren't able to practice at all, that's also okay. I can make do with however, however it is you've adapted or whatever talents it is that you normally possess. I can work with this. It's no, it's no problem. I bring this all into perspective now because I want to see if we can try and start back into our whole clan battling gig like what we always usually do. Remember, our first opponents coming up are going to be LSC, and they're going to be stoked and ready to go. It's just a matter of the when and the where and how we intend to do this. But before we start into them, we first need to get in some clan battle practice, which was pitched by uh, Mr. X and why he wants us to battle his friends uh, KOA, the kings of all clan, first in order to try and see if we can get in some group practice in order to understand how to do some overall omegation, uh, di different team members working together. And so as we picked up a couple of new people over the course of j beginning of January up to now, that's okay, and we can also work them into our clan battles and see how they can do, see how they can play because there are a couple of new players that we have that do intend to get on the clan battling circuit. They don't just want to join just for the sake of joining, and so I can pop them on the roster and see how it is they can work with um, with the with the new 2017 tournament that was originally supposed to play out. That's kind of a, an Ambiguity. It's kind of an, an ambiguous point right now, still with the out, with the layout of that tournament, and taking into play the ambiguous understanding of the 2017 tournament, whatever type of tournament it's going to be, and with a lot of the clans at a standstill right now, with IRL affairs now playing a part in their uh, slowing down of momentum, let's say, because you're not, we're not getting a lot of clan battles in right now because of in real life things that are affecting a lot of different people. And there's no harm in that. Between most of our players that have to focus on school or college and most of our other players that have to focus on work or catching up work and their hours, a lot of our players like AK47 or Moonwalker, Opti, Server, a lot of them haven't really been on as frequently as usual, and so most of our affairs when we rendezvous or when we can meet you are usually on a weekend play-by-play. -play. And in light of this, I was a little happy for the most part because with TAC taking in downtime for this, the, uh, our clan overall can enjoy the downtime while it is so that way we can do what we need to do and catch up on things in real life and in a sense just take time away from really focusing on playing the game that much if at all and just go do other things and then when tack comes back up it comes back up and we can come back to doing what we do but it's not like we have to know life the game me personally i got really bored of playing the game from time to time i don't mind no life in the game to some extent so that way i can grind leaderboards and i can further grind team deathmatch so i can catch up to a couple more rivals that are still ahead of me on team deathmatch in the rankings however what i wasn't completely honest about with my friends intact is that trying to juggle irl affairs at times and trying to manage particular clan battles it gets to be excessively stressful to a point where where I don't enjoy being in the environment of clan battles. I don't enjoy talking about them. I don't really just, I don't enjoy them anymore. I didn't want it to reach a point where I was completely sick of it. And where I wanted to just take myself out of the whole clan battling scene, period. And this concern was slowly expressed to other relative clan leaders from two respective clans that I know of that understood my sentiment completely and so respected the fact that I took myself out of the limelight of clan battles for a good set amount of time in order to do my own things after hours like I do. And as I also had expressed to them, this is also why I respectfully ignored and I chose to ignore 
clan battle requests that came in all of a sudden or that have come in all of a sudden because I don't want to break that peaceful train of thought in order to go right back into a suddenly highly stressful environment and then suddenly I dislike the game, I dislike interacting with everybody that I know. In addition to said people that are causing the stress in the first place that are even involved in the match or choosing to involve themselves in the conversation. That's not me, that's not who I am, and that's not what it is I instilled in tact in order for you guys to thus distribute in your own way. That's not the right way to handle things, and I need to set the example for myself in order to set the example to you guys, thus removing myself from the environment respectfully. During this downtime, I was also able to continue my own progressions in getting stronger and improving my own capabilities by taking a lot of one-on-ones when I can in the evening settings. Whenever I casually can, I come online, completely stress-free environment with the occasional messages here and there about many spam updates and lots of spam, let's say. It's enough spam to make a damn sandwich out of it. But I'm reaching a relaxing point where I feel it's okay, if you guys can understand, it's okay that I'm wanting to try and see if we can get back on the trolley and get back into the clan battling scene. Taking into consideration the outline of many different people's schedules on our t that are on our roster, I feel it's necessary to keep the clan battling predominantly to a weekend setting, that way it can work to everyone Every can work to everyone's advantage ahead of time, and you can set aside time for a weekend more so than a weekday. Uh, for those of you who don't work yet or don't have a job, this will make more sense later on down the road once you process the <clears throat> once you process the words that I am saying. Uh, you have to excuse my words; I'm very tired, but I want to at least try and get this update out to you guys. The uh, next bit of agenda here in terms of also getting back on the clan battling scene was also to address the, uh, I guess like a pseudo clan merge if you want to call it between Tact and Atlas. Atlas is no longer an active clan anymore, is no longer an active gaming clan anymore, it was originally just a group full of glitchers on WFC. But with the arrival of Atlas Killa, the current or the last leader of Atlas, now a part of the, now a part of the Tact roster, him, in addition to Obey, the founder of Atlas, he wanted to instill the idea of <clears throat> the idea of the group being a part of something bigger. That way, it can have a good name to it as a finishing point, rather than it just being known completely as a dead gaming clan full of glitchers, and was always known as a group full of glitchers. And there's more to them than that. And we all know from those of us that play WFC or still play it to this day that know of Atlas's tribulations. That for the most part, before it disbanded, it did end as a fairly straightforward clan. It started off very shady and it went into a very dark chapter of it, going into the past the stages of the golden era of the game. And then it reached a dark point where a lot of players just joined the group just so they can glitch under alt accounts. And that's also something that I will crack down about right now concerning this idea. And so the only Atlas members that are signed on to for Atlas at the moment, or the last ones anyway, is just officially were Atlas Killa, Miscellaneous, and Atlas Obey, or Tact Makeshift. And I think Atlas Hunters, but I'm not completely certain about her status, because that's just basically her normal main account. I've never seen her on alt or any other type of deviation other than that, just, just that main account. And so to put my foot down about this right now, me and Obey and Killa have reached an understanding about this, is that any new or unknown Atlas account that suddenly pops out of the woodworks or that suddenly emerges out of nowhere, it is no longer canon to the original Atlas gaming clan in its original run. Its original run has ceased and desisted. Atlas is no longer a gaming clan, however if you do wish to use the account, that's your own business, but don't associate, don't try to associate yourself with Atlas anymore. I want to give you guys a chance to make sense of your own past deeds and past wrongdoings. Past Atlas members that do wish to rejoin all of a sudden, legitimately and officially, you have to talk about it both with me, 
with Tac Jazz, Atlas Obey, and Atlas Killer, and we all have to agree on it. If it is not a complete consensus, then you are not an official member. That is all that will be said about the matter. And you're free to challenge it if you will. I'm sure it'll probably be challenged somewhere down the line by somebody just hopping onto a random account and bullshitting on it. Like they don't even care and probably don't care, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it in the first place. Anyway, that is the entirety of the tact update. Trust me, me going over it this way rather than sending it out to everybody is much more effective. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, Tact family. Y'all take care, and you'll hear from me next time. Me and Arg the same. Take care, until all are one.